Hey guys, Mark from Northeast Bass Fishing. How you doing? Well, um, if you saw the short I put up uh, yesterday, I did get an order from Land Big Fish. They're having their full sale now. <clears throat> I think it goes till October 16th. I think that's when seven I checked uh, earlier today. But Land Big Fish order came in. And uh, if you guys are into Zoom uh, saw plastics, you're going to enjoy this video. And I did get a couple other spinnerbaits, a couple of Rick spinner spinnerbaits too. But let me show you what I got here. Um, I kind of got more into uh, this past summer of throwing that ultra-vide speed worm, just swimming the worm. And so I just got a couple colors of that uh, from Zoom. This is the uh, the bull green color, which I thought kind of looked neat. You can see that looking like very bluegill-like when that's swimming through the water. And when that tail's going, it gives it's really great action. And it's, it's one of those, like, techniques I kind of got away from <laughs> for a while. And uh, kind of got into it last year a little bit and, and was enjoying it. So if you guys are looking for a good swimming worm, that uh, ultra-vide speed worm is great. And that's that bull green color, 15-pack. And which I love about, you know, Zoom baits. They're, uh, they're, they're excellent fishing lures, for one thing. But very reasonably priced. And, you know, you get a 15-pack, you know, with this this bait. So, you know, they always give you a good amount of baits for, for not a lot of money. And especially uh, Land Big Fish always has a great supply of Zoom baits and uh, lots, of col lots of colors. And uh, they have a lot of sales. So when you get these for 15 or 20% off, and they're not that expensive to begin with, it's really a good deal. So first up, that Ultravide Speed Worm. That's that bull green color. And I also got this Tilapia Magic color. It's kind of a little darker than some of the ones I have. But if you're wondering what that kind of looked like up close, there's that tilapia magic. It's got, it's almost like, I don't know how I would describe that. Maybe it's, it's like a really like a, a dark watermelon with a bunch of different flake in it. We got pair it to that, that bull bream. That's more like a green pumpkin with a bunch of flakes. So. Really, that's kind of the difference. These, this is like a dark watermelon, that tilapia magic, and that bull bream is kind of like a green pumpkin just with a bunch of different flake in it. So they are kind of side by side. So if you want a little lighter or a little darker, there you go. Really cool baits. You know, and I use these pretty much as like a swimming worm. You can flip and pitch it if you want. You know, I wouldn't do it in too heavy a cover with that tail. It might hang up on you a little bit in the weeds, but... I use this more, you know, as a swimming worm. So I got those two. I did grab some more. Um, this has been kind of like, or this was, I should say, since the summer is over. <clears throat> this was this was the summer of the horny toad for me on top. This was my best topwater bait of all the different topwaters that I threw this summer. This one was the most productive. And um, I've just gotten it back into the arsenal uh, after, you know, for years throwing it and then getting away from it. And... Uh, you know, throwing those hollow, hollow body frogs, buzz baits, other things, whopper ploppers. Now, this, I'll tell you, this the, the horny toad last year was awesome. And um, so I grabbed some some different colors that I didn't have. I mean, there's a ton of colors. And really, you probably don't need that many, but I always like to try out some different ones. And this is the um, green pumpkin tomato one. I didn't really have any anyone, ones with red in them. So. so if you're thinking about that green pumpkin tomato... You've got the green pumpkin on the top there, and then it's pretty much just a red belly. So that's what's going to be, you know, the fish are going to see in the water is that red, that red on there with a, and there's some flake in it also, if you guys can see it. But they've got a ton of colors of the, of the horny toad, and I, I don't know, you know, I have colors that I have confidence in, but I really think it's just the action and the disturbance that it makes that, that, that almost like finesse buzz bait, you know, action that those legs flapping on the top make, but that's that uh, green pumpkin tomato, if you guys were wondering what that looked like. <clears throat> I did have a couple left of this watermelon uh, red pearl, so I wanted to grab another bag of that, because I, I like this color a lot, throwing it. I only had like two left that weren't torn up. So you've got the watermelon red pearl, you know, with that black flake on top, and you've got that pearl body. So really, a, this, is, this is one of my, you know, colors that I like to throw a lot. So I grabbed another pack of those. <coughs> and these come in a five pack. They go pretty far. Five pack will last you a long time. Um, kind of on that idea of keeping a red bait, uh, this uh, 
Now they, they have it spelled merthiolate. I always thought it was methiolate, so whatever. Merthiolate, <laughs> which is kind of a cool color in other baits they make. But I didn't have it in the frog, so I thought I'd try it on the horny toad. Show them something different. As I said, I don't know how a big a deal the color is, you know. I know guys who just throw the black one. But um, I'll try any of the colors. I have not found a color that the bass will not hit. I really think it's more the action and the, the disturbance that those, that those legs make on the water. Now, the only issue I have with these, and it's really not an issue with the bait itself, is that it's the issue with the fish. A lot of times the fish rip these off. You know, if you get little fish or just fish are biting at it, they rip these off. And once that, that's, those are gone, the bait's pretty much, you know, toast. But it's a great, it, it, this has been outstanding for me this year. Outstanding. And on like the lighter side or more sparkly side, this is the icicle color of the Zoom Horny Toad. I don't think I've ever thrown this color. I have to look in the box. But if you want something to really shine in that, you know, in that water with that, it's like, it's like a, you know, a, a clear bait with just silver and, it's like silver and black flake in there. But that's, that's, that's really cool. I think the sun hitting that, that might pretty, give a pretty, off a pretty good uh, visual in the water. But that's a cool one I want to try. Probably now at this point, since I like throwing these so much and I've gotten into them, I'll, Every time I make an order uh, from Land Big Fish or whoever, I'll probably just throw in a couple of horny toads just to keep stocked up or try a different color. And this is another one I don't think I've ever thrown before, the black-white swirl. I've got the pearl, I've got the plain black one, but the black-white swirl, I don't, I mean, I'll have to look in the box, but I definitely don't think that I've thrown this one. I think I have a black and yellow swirl one, but the black and white is pretty cool. That will definitely get some action from the fish. We'll definitely get some action from the fish. But there's that black and white swirl if you guys were ever wondering what that looked like. Like a zebra. So that's the horny toads that I got. And really what got me looking at the at the zoom section was um oh, hold on, I found one more. I forgot about this one. I did also get the black with the chartreuse uh, the chartreuse uh, legs on it. I forgot about this one. This is the one that I think is probably the coolest of all. So we've got that black body, those chartreuse. That's going to be, that's going to be a good one right there. I mean, they're all good. As I said, I've not found a color yet that the fish don't don't won't eat. It's more of the bait itself than the, than the color of the bait. But I think this will be a nice option. Nice option on the you know maybe that dirtier water. But that's a pretty cool one there. Black with the chartreuse. So if you were thinking about the black and chartreuse, it does look good. So that, I believe, is the horny toads. Now, <clears throat> the bait that I started looking at when I looked at the land big fish section was the, uh, the the super fluke. And you guys know I love throwing the fluke. I've even been throwing it more, throwing it more now. The fall has gotten here, and um, I love throwing the fluke. You know, I pretty much throw five or six different colors but i did see some colors i've never seen before on there and they may have been out for a while and i just didn't notice because i wasn't looking because you know if you guys can <laughs> i see the zoom section i got a pretty i got a good supply of flutes um but some of these colors are i think could really really do well so and i've never seen them i don't know how new they are to their line but uh, they certainly look look like they'd be very edible to the bass so if you guys have never thrown the super fluke before, this is the big size fluke. I mean, not that seven inch one I think they have. This is like the five and I think it's a five and a quarter or something like that. Five inches, five and a quarter, I forget exactly. Um, but when I'm talking about the fluke, I'm talking about the super fluke. And this is called Taffy Shed. Taffy Shed. And usually when I'm throwing these, I'm throwing the like the whites, the chartreuses, that sexy shed one I like. But this one, I, I, I definitely think will be good. It's got the white on there. It's got that clear top, some pink flake in there. That's going to be show them something different. But if you guys have never seen the fluke before, I think, I could, I think I'm going to do a video just on flukes. That's pretty much it. It's a soft jerk bait. It's got that forked tail. And I just throw this like with a 4-aught EWG hook. And um, 
just you know i'm just and i and it's weedless so i can get it through the cover so i like to throw it over the top of of weeds uh, this is kind of one of those baits i throw all the way to the bank and work it back to the boat so th this i can get this where like a hard jerk bait i can't get because of treble hooks this i can get through I, this is rigged weedless the way i throw it and i think that color will be pretty cool i'm definitely looking forward to trying that out that as i said is called taffy shad so if you're wondering what the Taffy Shad Zoom Fluke looks like, I believe it's a 10-pack, yeah. That's what it looks like. Very interesting color to try. Um, this one is called Pink Lemonade. And I like that because of the chartreuse in it. That chartreuse belly. And then it's got the it's got the pink. So these kind of go together, this these two. You know. This one's got that pink, uh, that pink like flake on the top with that chartreuse clear belly. Another one that I think will be really outstanding. Really outstanding. I can just see the smallies really want that. But I do just as well with the largies with the fluke. It, once it gets really cold, obviously I'm not going to be throwing this. So I'll go back to the hard jerk bait. But at this, this kind of in-between time when our water is still in the 60s, you get a nice day. And... I'll, I'll throw definitely throw the fluke around and see if there's any of those bass that are up shallow, just kind of hanging around the shallow cover. And this is a good way to get them because you can make long casts and not scare the fish. Uh, let's see. Another one I got, which I thought looked pretty cool, was this lavender shad. And that's got your white, but it's got purple. And purple is good. So that's another one that I think can be very, very productive. That's it, guys. That's that lavender shad. Very neat. Very, very neat. And I did get this one, which I had never seen before. They call it birthday cake. And as you can tell, I kind of tend to tend to those lighter colors. I haven't really done well with like, like a black fluke or like a heavy green pumpkin one. Occasional, you know, action on them, but I always do better with these 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 lighter colors. And this birthday cake is pretty cool. It's just like a like a cream color, <clears throat> pearlish, I guess you could call it, but just with just a bunch of flake in it. So just to show them something a little different, something that might attract them a little more. Those different flake in there. As the sun hits it, and I see that moving through the water. I mean, these all have great potential. Great potential. And one of the ones I had to try, just because it's called Smallmouth Magic, which is a color from, from Zoom that I like. And I hadn't tried it in a fluke. And just looking at it, it looks pretty cool. I don't, you know, I don't think I have it. I know I have it in the other baits there, but I do not believe I have it in the fluke. Um, if I do, yeah, I stocked up on some more, but... This looks pretty cool. Pretty cool. It's got the green in there, that clear belly, some silver, and some blue, and looks like blue flake. But I can see that definitely being a... Smallies will like that. But as I said, largely smallies. I do well with both species on this bait. The fluke is just a great, great, great bait for covering water, for seeing if there's active fish around. And uh, I wanted to try these new colors. So that is the Smallmouth Magic. So that's the five different colors of the flukes I got. And I did get one bait that is not a zoom bait. And I've talked about it on my channel before. <clears throat> and this is that uh, Rick Glenn spinner bait. And uh, Lucky Strike used to make these. And it's got those those drop hooks, those long long drop hooks that, that Rick Klon, uh, really likes to use. And I've done very well with these spinner baits since they came out, very well. Um, <clears throat> when other, spates, other spinner baits haven't been producing, this one has this, it's just a different vibration. So if a lot of people, if you're in a, you know, a lake fishing and a lot of people are throwing spinner baits, if you throw something a little different that sounds a little different in the water, it might be the ticket. So I did get this um, clown color and I got the half ounce version and I got the three quarter ounce version. I tend to throw the three quarter ounce version or at least start with it. Um, I just I just like that heavier spinner bait and you can really feel the the uh, the vibration of these those long drop hooks or hooks <laughs> blades on this thing. But if you have not seen it, and as I said, Headhunter is the company that makes it. They're on sale right now at Land Big Fish. And if you have not tried these, 
And if you want to get them on sale, just to give them a try to see if you like them. But here, I'll show you the packaging without the blade in there. And it's uh, the Rick Clun Trickster Spinnerbait. And there's the spinnerbait right there. This is the clown size. This is the half ounce. And um, here's the back. I know that's probably going to be tough to read, but I'll tell you guys just... Uh, it's the, it's uh, Rick Clun's long drop blades are what they call these. These blades combine the flash qualities of willow, willow leaf and the vibration of a Colorado in Indian blades. So if you guys have followed Rick Clun's career, you know that he's done well with this style of spinnerbait. But um, I didn't uh, have this color. I like to get a few different colors of them. So every now and then, especially when they're on sale, I like to order a few. And I wanted to try this clown color. And the one blade is silver and the one is, is gold. And this thing makes a great vibration, great vibration. But there's the half ounce. Now here is the three quarter ounce of the same bait. I'll show you that packaging up close. The Trickster Spinner Bait. <clears throat> and if you haven't tried it, it's not overly expensive. I think on sale you'll get it for less than like five bucks, maybe around five bucks. I forget what they are. They're not expensive. If I get us open, I will definitely show it to you. All right, there we go. There we go. And as I said a little while ago, I prefer to start with the three quarter ounce. I can chuck it a mile. I can even fish it deeper. But there's what your Rick Clun Headhunter Trickster Spinner Bait looks like. You've got those long drop blades, that gold, that silver. So you can see the blade size differences between the half and the three quarter. I think, yeah, I think the top blade may be the same size. But that back blade is definitely a different size. So you can get definitely get more thump with that three-quarter ounce. And I, I do like the three-quarter ounce. You know, nice skirt, nice painted head. There's what the, the hook looks like. Nice sturdy hook. But it's a good spinnerbait. It's really a good spinnerbait. It's different. So if you haven't tried it, it's not going to cost you an arm and a leg. If you want to try something different, there's the three-quarters, that bigger head, that bigger... Uh, rear blade and there's that half ounce that's smaller I hope you guys can see those okay but that's it that's that trickster trickster um spinner bait rick clone spinner bait from headhunter lures so there they are so i wanted to try that clown color and it's got white it's got chartreuse and it's got a little red in there so <laughs> you really can't go wrong as far as uh skirt colors go that's the order everybody that is the order so um just to kind of uh wrap this up and give you a quick look at everything one more time i got two bags of the ultra vibe a speed worm in the tilapia magic and the bull bream this bait i will probably not be throwing again until next summer i don't really throw that in the fall very much much like the um the horny toad i don't really throw it much the top water bait when i've had a nice day and i've been out lately and there's pads around that are still up i've thrown it around there but I think this bait is kind of, the only action has been like, you know, pickerel, you know, kind of swiping at them. So the, the top water for me is kind of pretty much done. Unless we get a nice day, maybe I'll throw a buzz bait around. But uh, I got, uh, you know, a few packs of the horny toad. This is the black with the chartreuse. The black with the white swirl. That icicle color, which is really neat. That silvery in there, silver. That Marsilate color. That water, uh, watermelon red pearl. They just on here have water red pearl, but you guys get the idea. The water red pearl. <clears throat> and another one I've never tried before is the green pumpkin and tomato. Pretty cool. A little red in there. And then the good old flukes. The salty super fluke. And this is the taffy shed. These colors are really neat. Uh, the pink lemonade. What's that? Lavender shad. Very neat. Cool color. That birthday cake color is really neat. And smallmouth magic. So hopefully this will be magic on smallmouth. This bite, this time of year, as I said, I get one of those sunny days. Maybe the fish are up on the, sh in the, on the rock shallow. I will definitely throw it, throw it around. Um, but as the water gets colder... You know, these are kind of my summer, you know, more summery baits, spring baits, when it's getting warmer, not colder. 
but uh, that sale's still going on to the 16th if you guys want to stock up. And last but not least, those two Headhunter Rick Clun Trickster Spinner Baits, that half ounce, three quarter ounce in the, in the uh, clown color. And that is the three quarter ounce there. You can see the bigger head, that bigger one blade is bigger. And there's that half ounce. So as I said, I kind of like that three quarter ounce. So just, just the feel of it is, you can really feel that thumping through. And this bite is going to get better and better and better as it gets a little chillier out. I was out Wednesday, the water was still 64. If you guys watched my other video of Bill and I when we went out and fished, water was still 64. Um, it was nice again today though, <laughs> after it was cold yesterday. So uh, the water probably hasn't changed much. We'll see, it's supposed to be nice again tomorrow. Uh, but then I think it may be Sunday and Monday around here, it's gonna be a little chillier and rainy a bit. So we'll see what that does with the water temps. But that's the order. So, as I said, Land Big Fish is having their fall sale <clears throat> until the 16th. Everything on the site is on sale, except I think, you know, those few brands that never go on sale. Um, and um, like 15, 20% off. So, if you guys are interested in stocking up, now's a good time, especially if you're a Zoom fan, because they have a ton of Zoom baits and a ton of colors. Uh, you know, to get to have every color of fluke, with, you know, you, you would get every color of the fluke, and then they come out with five or ten more, and you'd be, they, they, you would be never you never catch up. They have so many different colors. Um, but that, I, I definitely want to try out those new ones. They definitely look cool. But that's it. So any questions on these baits, uh, let me know. I think I'm going to do a video just on the Zoom Fluke because I haven't really done one, and it's a bait I really like to throw, and I'd like to talk about that just and show you all the different colors that you, you can choose from. But that was one I was kind of thinking about last week. I just didn't get around to. And then I figured I'd wait until these new new colors came in so I could show them to you. But um, but that's it, guys. So I um, appreciate you watching the video. Um, please like, share, and subscribe. Um, I was looking at analytics for my website the other day, and as I've said to you guys a few times, 35% of you that watch my videos are subscribers. 65% about are not subscribers. So if you 65 out there, subscribe, please do. I, my next goal is 3,000 subscribers, which would be awesome. So still working on that so the more the merrier um and i will put links to these baits in the description so if you want to check them out and uh, remember that that the land big fish sale is going on for another week so uh, take advantage of it so uh, i'll see you guys soon on youtube mark out